Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in the last session, so we discussed how to implement a single linked list. In the single linked list, right here it is, we discussed only how to add the node at the end of the list. Only, so one thing we discussed, right, and so many operations we need to discuss. So, continuation of that program, see. So, this is the so, program we discussed in the last session. So, what all the operations we can perform and next one we have written the code only for append function, how to add the node at the end of the available list, nothing but available nodes. Now, in this session, so we will discuss one by one. So, first we will write the code how to find the length of the list, how to find the length of the list. So, length function always written in teaser type, how many nodes are there in the list, so that will be written, right or simply, so that that will be added to the count. So, initially, so globally we are declaring, globally we are declaring one variable length, simply L E N. So, initially value is a globally 0, we know that, whenever we are calling the length function, right after finding how many number of nodes in the list that will be added to the length variable finally. So, that that length we can access everywhere, everywhere we can access. For example, here, so we are writing the code for length. So, length function, length function, so we are calling. Here, suppose, so we are declaring one temporary variable because all the operations we need to perform with the help of temp variable only and how many nodes I just want to count. So, count variable locally I am declaring and that is initializes with a 0, 0 and temp gets memory allocation. So, already I took one list, here it is temp gets memory allocation, temp and one more variable count variable get memory allocation and what is the initial value of a count, initial value that starts with a 0, 0. So, no need to disturb the root variable in a single linked list operations. So, what all the operations you want to perform that you should perform with the help of temp only, with the help of temp. Suppose here, here, so we are declaring, we are placing the root value into the temp variable because we, sh we should start counting the nodes from the first node only, first node. So, here it is a temp value is a root value that is 1000 consider, it is pointing to first node. But just consider if you are finding the length, right, here it is if suppose root equals to null, that is nothing but no nodes in the list. If nodes are there, how can we continue while, while temp not equals to null. If it is a null, so what is the meaning no nodes in the list? Directly it will return the value, count value it will return. Count is of type what? Integer type, count is a integer type, right. So, return type of length function is also integer. How many nodes in the list it is returning? So, while temp not equals to null, Right, suppose if root value is a null means what? No nodes in the list. So, by that time it is returning the count value 0, 0 it is returning or else or else. So, it will return, it will return the value. First we are writing count plus plus, count value is increased. Reason, what is the temp value initially is a 1000, 1000 means what? Already node is present node is present means the count value we need to increase, right, count value become 1, 1. After counting the first node, we need to send the control to next node. How to send the control to next node? We already discussed. Temp to link value that is nothing but next node address will be stored into temp. Now, temp to link, nothing but 1000 to link is what? Is a 2000, the 2000 will be stored, right, into temp variable. Now, temp value is a 2000, 
again while loop executes as long as the condition is a true the while loop executes 2000 not equals to null again control move inside count value increases and temp is pointing to the next location here it is so value become 2 count value become 2 next location 1000 to link is a 3000 3000 yes 3000 is also not equals to null then what will happen again it is pointing to the next node next node i mean so that is a count value is a 3 3000 to link is not equals to null it's a 4000 4000 then value is a 4000 then what is the count value count value is a 4 count value is a 4 and next finally write 4000 to link value is a null value null value so null value means what condition failed so finally 4000 to link value is a null value null and here it is so null means the condition has failed so by that time what is the count value 4 because how many nodes are there in the list only 4 nodes are there 1 2 3 4 4 nodes are present in the list so count value is a 4 so finally it is returning the value 4 so whatever the value returned by this one by this function length function will be collected here in the length function that will be assigned to len will be assigned to len so here it is length that we are storing into len simple is a global variable so first we have to call the length function and then we use that len variable everywhere when required everywhere okay this is a length function and next one how to display how to display all the elements so very simple here it is void display function display all the operations we should perform with the help of temporary variable only so as usual struct node star temp variable again we should start displaying the elements with the help of a root only because into temp we are storing root variable only initially initially root variable we are storing again a temp value start starts with a thousand starts with thousand and the same logic we are using right to print I mean to find the length of the list so whatever the logic we discussed the same logic we are using here same logic first we are checking we are checking if temp is equals to null or not why the reason suppose if no nodes in the list so by that time if you are trying to display the elements no elements in the list so directly we are giving the message list is empty no nodes to display or else or else so now we are displaying the elements sir how to display the elements with the help of while loop with the help of while loop if temp not equals to null if temp is not equals to null right directly so we are displaying the information printf printf percentage d arrow mark we are giving just like in the form of list it will print elements linked list comma so what we have to print suppose initially temp is pointing to the first location consider we need to print the information of the node simple temp2 data temp2 data we are printing temp2 data we are printing as long as the condition is a true the while loop will repeat so every node and after that temp2 link value temp2 link value will be stored into temp temp after printing the first node data we need to send the control to next node it will check if next node is a null that, that is nothing but uh, it reaches end of the list then it will stop or else it will continue it will keep on executing like that okay so finally after printing all we just send the control to next line two lines gap i am giving after printing the list simply okay so this is a list how to display all the elements in the list now 
here it is I am writing prototype of all these methods prototype of all these methods in a main in a main append function append it is not returning anything and it is not taking anything add it begin it is not returning anything and it is not taking anything all these are prototypes prototypes and next one third function is a add it after add it after function and same story it is not taking anything and not returning anything and next one length function length function is returning but it is not taking anything not taking next one display and delete here it is display function display function and next one delete function prototypes we are writing prototypes and we are writing empty body of all these functions just we are writing empty definition so later we will continue ok sir why we are writing empty definitions means I just want to show the output of this current program so whatever the logic we implemented as of now right that I want to show you output and next one a delete function also body we have to write delete it is also not taking anything so void and it is also not returning anything this much when we compile and run this application the program will start single linked list operations right for example if you are trying to display the elements in the list display right so what is the display here it is 5 and one more thing I just want to check check after printing so nothing but printing that list length of the list length I just want to print here what is the length printf length nothing but how many number of nodes in the list percent sd slash n here it is len we are printing len is a global variable na? now observe so first the choice is a uh, i just want to display the elements 5 clearly the message is list is empty list is empty and next one i just want to find the length i just want to find the length of the list 4 so what is the length 0 because no nodes in the list and next one I am inserting but here it is we have written the logic only for append right here it is I just want to append 1 it is asking enter node data suppose 10 next again 1 I just want to add 20 next 1 31 41 50 one sixty no limitations now suppose if you want to find the length of the list length suppose four is a choice and what is the length total six elements we inserted so automatically the length is a six length is a six and next one for example if you want to write a display what all the elements we have inserted we have to display all the elements that what we inserted so that is display is a five see we have inserted total 6 elements all the 6 elements it is printing 10 20 30 40 50 60 ok so that is right in this session so we discussed only right how to write the logic for append and how to display how to find the length of all the things ok in the next session we will continue with this program in the next session I will complete how to add a node at the beginning how to add the node in the middle of the list and how to delete all the elements ok so thank you for watching this video for more videos please log into Narayshati channel thank you